Hi, Wesley here with the weekly Mesonet Weather Report. Mid-September is when wheat for forage normally starts getting drilled in the ground. This year, the high soil temperatures may be a hindrance to that. Here is a three-day average four-inch temperatures from midweek on bare soil. Today, shorter coleoptile wheat varieties germinate best at temperatures much cooler than we currently have. Since mid-August, we have experienced much warmer than normal air temperatures. This is illustrated on this statewide average high temperature graph. We have only come close to the normal high two days during the past two weeks, and we have a while longer to deal with this heat wave. This map is the expected high temperatures on Saturday. You can see hundreds at most of the western sites. The normal statewide average high temperature for September the 11th should be around 85 degrees. Therefore, the expected highs we could see this weekend will be about 15 degrees above normal for this time of year. The forecast from the National Weather Service for next week has us staying above normal with temperatures. Temperatures are expected to drop dramatically with a cool front about midweek. However, they have a long way to drop to get us back to normal and cool soils down enough to get good wheat germination rates. Gary is up next with some limited rainfall information. Thanks Wes and good morning everyone. While drought continues to be the main concern we have as we transition from summer to fall, some folks have had some pretty good rains and are not in any sort of trouble, but others are starting to see a little bit more dryness creep in. Let's get straight to the new drought monitor map and see what we have. Well, as far as strict drought goes, uh, we do have that area of moderate drought up in the far northwestern uh, main body of the state and also out in the western panhandle. That little sliver of severe drought up in uh, uh, Woods and Harper County in far northwest Oklahoma. But we see a lot more of that yellow abnormally dry conditions uh, D0 uh, designation on the map. The little spots of yellow are starting to multiply. Uh, these areas of abnormally dry conditions signify areas that could be uh, going into drought conditions if they don't see significant rainfall in the next couple of weeks. So just something to keep in mind. Not a lot more drought, but a lot more areas in danger of going into drought. The culprit is this flash drought situation we're seeing over the last 30 to 60 days. We'll take a look at the 30-day mesonet rainfall map across the state. We have some pretty good amounts in far southeast Oklahoma, but lots and lots of that light green and, and blue color, and they're scattered about the state, and that's where we get the scattered areas of abnormally dry conditions. But it really shows up well when we start to look at the departure from normal rainfall map for the last 30 days uh, from the Oklahoma mesonet. We see lots of deficits of one to two to even greater than three inches of rain. So again, areas to watch out for as we go into the next couple of weeks. Now September is a, a wet month for most of the state, so it's really gonna be key that we get some normal rainfall amounts, if not above normal rainfall amounts, to start to curtail this dry stretch we're having. That's it for this time. We'll see you next time on the Mesonet Weather Report.